Sarah went out one night and left Amy sleeping on the couch. When she returned, Amy was gone. But her phone was on the couch. The last number dialed was 6444-5533. Sarah suspected three people who could be behind Amy's disappearance. Amy's cousin Tina, their neighbor Mike, and Amy's brother Luke. When the police showed up, they analyzed the phone number and found out who was the organizer. You've got 7 seconds to figure it out. It was Mike! Amy used the T9 writing keyboard. It means she had to press each number a few times to get the letter. The numbers make up the word Mike. It was a rainy Sunday morning, and Jane, who was the prince's housekeeper, walked into his room to clean it. There, she realized that the prince was gone. But there was evidence in the room that something had happened. Broken vases, spilled drinks, and duct tape on the floor. Jane called the police right away, and they began questioning everyone in the house. The butler said he was cleaning his car to take the prince shopping. Jane said that as soon as she walked into the room, she called the police. The gardener said that he didn't even go inside and was watering the plants in the garden. Can you help the police figure it out? It was the gardener. It was raining. There was no need to water the plants. A businessman was about to go through a security check at the airport when he realized someone had taken his luggage. The airport police had three suspects who had to be interviewed. Lisa said, I wouldn't take someone's old brown bag. I have my own. Mike explained he was a light traveler and didn't have luggage. He put everything in his backpack. Rob had a broken arm and a sprained ankle. He could hardly carry anything. The police immediately knew who had done it. Can you figure it out? It was Lisa. Nobody told her the luggage was brown. One day, a teacher decided to give her students a test, but all of them refused to take it. She could give detention for skipping the test to only one student. All of them knew each other's names. If a student knew they were going to get detention, they agreed to take the test. How could the teacher make all the students participate? She told them that she'd give detention to the student whose name came first alphabetically. Then this person wouldn't skip the test. The next person on the list wouldn't skip as well. And so on, until the end of the list. Brendan sat in a coffee shop and found a fly in his drink. How disgusting! He asked the waiter to bring him another coffee. After receiving the new cup and taking a sip, he became angry. Brendan realized that it was the same cup of coffee he had in the first place. How did he know that it was the same cup of coffee? It doesn't take a coffee expert to get this one right. The second coffee was already sweetened. Brendan had put sugar in his first cup before finding the fly. On Saturday morning, the bank received a call that someone took all the jewelry out of the bank's vault. Officer Diaz was on the case, and as soon as she walked into the bank, she asked to see the security cameras. Coincidentally, they didn't work, and she knew this was an inside job. She turned to the security guard, the cashier, and the analyst and asked them to open their office drawers. Tom, the security guard, had keys to the vaults to let visitors in. Mark, the cashier, had a pair of gloves to handle money. Tim, the analyst, had the master key in his drawer that opened the vault because he needed some documents there. Immediately, the officer knew who did it. Can you figure it out? It was the analyst. The vault was filled with jewelry, not documents. A prestigious gallery just had a new exhibition. At the end of the show, the gallery owner discovered that four of the most expensive flower paintings had been stolen. 
the police show up to do an investigation, and now they have, wait for it, three suspects. Jenna, the artist, said she disappeared into one of the studios to paint. Bob, the security guard, said he was just waiting outside and had no idea the flower paintings were gone. Louis, the caterer, said he knew nothing about the robbery until the police showed up. So, who's the thief? It's the security guard. He couldn't have known which paintings were stolen if he was standing outside. Oh, Bob. A man is driving along a highway in his car. After several hours on the road, he grows tired. It's also getting dark. He notices a motel sign. When the driver reaches the place, he sees three buildings, with a wooden door, with a silver door, and with a gold one. Which door should he open? His car door, of course. John's father has three sons. There's Jack, a quiet, intelligent student. Then there's Jason, a popular athlete. So who's the third son? It's John! His father has three sons. Jack, Jason, and him, John. Lucas lived in Paris, but he didn't like the Eiffel Tower. So every day, he ate his dinner in the only place where it couldn't be seen. What was this place? Lucas always had dinner in a cafe at the base of the tower. Oliver was sailing his yacht when something went wrong. His ship sank in the middle of the ocean. After swimming for hours, the man woke up on a deserted island. After looking around, he saw two men. Well, it wasn't so deserted, was it? They were islanders who wanted to keep Oliver locked in one of the caves on the island. Oliver agreed, but asked them to grant him one last wish. When he told the men what he wanted, they set him free. What was his wish? He said, I agree, but only the smartest can lock me there. You're a student, and you have an important philosophy exam today. Big stress. You, like most of your peers, haven't attended many classes or learned anything this semester. When you come to the exam, the teacher puts a chair in the center of the classroom and says, None of you learned my subject, so everyone will have the same chance to pass it. See this chair? Write evidence that it doesn't exist. The person who convinces me of this will pass. What should you write to ace the exam? The correct answer is… what chair? You're making your way through the forest thicket and come across two bear cubs. Ah, cute! You remember the granola in your pocket. What do you do? Give it to the cubs and play with them? Keep calm and slowly, but immediately sneak away? Walk away calmly? Phew, I'm running as fast as possible from the bears. Better make it quick, you have only 7 seconds to decide. Get out of there, but slowly and calmly. If you've crossed paths with some cubs, Mama Bear is probably nearby. If you run, you'll likely draw her attention and she'll try to protect her babies, even if you had no bad intentions. Jack, a hired private investigator, is looking for someone who is pretending to be poor to get free stuff at the local coffee shop. But everyone there has similar accessories, and it's hard to figure it out. Can you help? It's the lady in the gray suit. She holds car keys in her hands. Susie and Jason had been married for 10 years. One day, Susie went on a business trip. She had to stay away from home for two days. As soon as the woman came back, Jason realized something was wrong. The woman hugging him wasn't his wife. How did he know?
Susie always wore her wedding ring, and the woman who pretended to be her didn't have one. There was no tan line in its place either. Or it really was Susie, but she came back after getting a nose job, using her wedding ring to pay for it. Could be. Lisa was a successful guitar player in a rock band. On Friday, they were having their third big gig, and the band was waiting for her. But she was nowhere to be found. Finally, the girl showed up. But it wasn't Lisa, it was her twin sister Sarah. She locked her sibling in the basement, took her clothes and the guitar, and got ready to pose as a band member. But as soon as the team saw Sarah, they immediately knew she wasn't Lisa. How did they know? You need short fingernails to play the guitar. Sarah had long nails, but apparently she didn't fret about it. Mary is stranded on an island in the middle of an enormous deep lake. She can't swim and doesn't have a boat. The nearest town is on the shore 5 miles away from her. All she has is three ropes, each of them are 2 feet long. Three hours later, Mary reaches the town. How did she manage to escape from the island? Well, it's winter, and the lake is frozen. Mary simply crossed the lake on the ice. Amy won $20 million in the lottery. Ooh. The night after she had received the money, she stayed in the most expensive hotel and made a video. It was about her life and how she hadn't seen her sister since childhood. The next day, three girls showed up claiming to be her sister. All of them looked so much alike, but which one tells the truth? It's the lady on the right. She has the same mole as Amy on her cheek, a tattoo with the letter A, and a tattoo with two girls holding hands. Okay, let's imagine you don't know what an elephant looks like. One day, you're going on a safari to watch animals with your friends. One of them points at a rhino and tells you it's an elephant. The other shows you a hippo and claims that it's an elephant. Who will you believe and why? The task was to imagine that you didn't know what an elephant looked like. Not that you didn't know what a hippo and a rhino are. It means you won't believe either of your friends. Boy, with a couple of lying friends like these. After a particularly heavy snowfall had let up, Daniel went outside and discovered that there was twice as much snow in his yard as in his neighbors. But Daniel didn't look surprised at all. How come? Try to shovel your way to the truth in the next 7 seconds. There's no mystery to this whatsoever. Daniel's yard is two times bigger than his neighbor's. There's a barrel of water in the yard. You look inside and say that it's more than half full. But your friend argues that it's less than half full. How to figure out who's right without using any measuring tools or removing water from the barrel? Tilt the barrel so that the water touches the rim. If you can see the bottom, the barrel's less than half full. If the bottom is still covered with water, it's more. It's completely dark, and you could really use some shut-eye. Out of nowhere, you hear someone call your name. You're so taken aback that you run away from this place. There are three paths ahead. The first is covered in hot coals. The second is strewn with rusty nails. Broken glass lies on the third. What will you choose? Yeah, I know, we're leaving the path of reality here, but hey, just play along. You can score some really good points. Go with the hot coals. Your feet won't be on them for too long if you're running. David got lost in a jungle. After wandering for hours, at lunchtime, he came to a place where the path split into three smaller trails. The first led to an active volcano with red-hot lava bubbling in its crater. If David chose the second path, he would get to a clearing swarming with venomous bats. 
and the third path ended in a swamp swallowing everything and everybody that got there. Where should he go? David should choose the second path. Most bats are only active at night, plus they almost never attack humans. On Sunday, Mark, a hotel owner, called the police and said that the chef of his hotel tried to poison him. The night before, he gave him a fresh avocado to eat, and as soon as he took the first bite, he passed out. The police ran to investigate the scene, and the chef denied everything. They found the avocado on the floor, and they knew that the owner was lying. How did they know? The avocado was fresh. If he bit it last night, it would have been brown by now. Stan met a stranger he'd never seen before. Stan heard about him, but no descriptions of his appearance were ever mentioned. Nevertheless, Stan understood immediately who the guy was. How is this possible? Well, some people just look more alike than others. The guy Stan met was the twin brother of one of his friends. Anna had the flu and stayed in bed for three days. One afternoon, her mother came to visit her. She walked into her room, but Anna was gone. She immediately called the police, and the detectives had three main suspects – Chris, Jenna, and Mark. They were Anna's roommates and said they left the house and had been out all night. When the detectives checked their cars, they immediately knew who was lying. Can you figure it out? You have 7 seconds. It was Chris. His car was parked too close to a wall, and Anna's car was parked right next to it. Since Anna didn't leave the house for 3 days, it means neither did he. Amy and Chris have a little son called Noah. On Saturday, they went out to dinner and left Noah at home. When they returned, the little boy was gone. The alarmed parents called the police. The detective questioned everyone in the house. The babysitter said she had been preparing Noah's school bag for the next day. The maid said she had spent the day cleaning the bathrooms. The chef said he had been preparing breakfast for the next day and hadn't heard anything. The police immediately knew who was lying. Can you figure it out? It was the babysitter. It's Saturday, and children don't go to school on Sundays. You're stranded on a tiny, uninhabited island. You have no radio, cell phone, or any other means of communication. The island also has no trees to make a smoke signal. On the second day there, you notice a helicopter circling in the sky and searching for you. It's flying too high for the pilots to spot you. How can you attract their attention? Pick up some stones and use them to write SOS on the sand. Katie, a private investigator, decided to have a vacation at a ski resort in France. While she was waiting in the lobby, the hotel manager announced he was looking for some translators. He needed help with important documents. He wanted people who spoke in different languages. Katie offered to help with the hiring process. Maya said she was living in Germany and knew the German language. Rob said he once lived in Singapore and was fluent in Mandarin. John said he had spent a decade in Brazil and spoke Brazilian. Katie immediately told the clerk that one of the applicants was lying. Can you figure out who it was? It was John. They speak Portuguese in Brazil, when they're not talking soccer. A new restaurant opened on the roof of a skyscraper. Food critic Jake is there to try the dishes and give his feedback. Suddenly, a bad storm picks up, and Jake hears an announcement. Everyone must evacuate the building ASAP. He runs inside to find three elevators. He must pick one to stay alive. 
Behind the first, there are dozens of venomous snakes slithering all over the floor. In the second, three angry lions are roaring as they smell him through the doors. The third elevator is filled with water and two hungry sharks. You want to call the building management to find out who the heck put snakes, lions, and sharks in the elevators. But you need to escape first. Which is the best option? You have 7 seconds to decide. It's the third elevator. When the door opens, all the water will pour out along with the sharks, and he can escape. An astronaut was about to go on a spacewalk. He needed the OK from the space center on Earth. But the communications were down since 4 a.m. that morning. While waiting for someone to fix the problem, he vanished. Someone on the space station knew what happened, but who? Harry said that he was in his room sleeping. Nick said that he was reading a book on his bed. Jenna said she was talking to the space center down on Earth. Who is lying? You have 7 seconds to figure it out. It's Jenna! Their communications were down since that morning, and Nick couldn't get the OK to leave. Will was walking on railroad tracks when he saw a train coming right at him at full speed. As soon as he spotted it, he ran toward the train to survive. Why did he do that? He was in a tunnel. The only way to get to safety was running toward the train out of the tunnel and then jumping out to the side. An egg has to fall 100 feet, but you can't let it break. You can't slow down its fall or cushion its landing. How can you do it? Drop the egg from a height greater than 100 feet, and it won't break for the first 100 feet. Rob works as a mechanic in his own garage. One afternoon, he went out to get some supplies. When he came back, he noticed someone had been messing around in his office. The intruder tried to put everything back the way it had been before. But they forgot some small detail. Can you spot it? There's a lipstick mark on Rob's coffee cup and his chair is lowered. You're not paying attention as you walk downstream with the river and OW! A poisonous snake bit you on the leg. You can do one of three things to save yourself. What will it be? Use your mouth to extract the venom. Tie a tourniquet around your leg to prevent the venom from spreading. Stay calm and put your leg in a loose splint to restrict movement. Your vision is blurring. Hurry, you only have 5 seconds. Never try the mouth trick and don't ever use a tourniquet for a snake bite. It's best not to move the affected limb and keep it below your heart level. Remove any clothing around the area before it swells up. One day, the amethyst jewelry store owner called the police. He reported that somebody had taken all his expensive diamonds. The detectives knew someone in the town had been doing it for a while now. They were going to catch this person red-handed. The stores with the missing jewelry were Alvaro's, Antonio's, Aqua Rings, Amethyst. There are five more jewelry stores in the town. Which one's going to be the next? Arts Jewels. All the targeted stores start with the letter A.